Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel, too. Uh, witchy reader. So, uh, I am trying to do mostly pride filled month. I was going to do a complete pride filled month, but then, um, I didn't finish the series I was reading last month because I got sick. So, they're crossing over to this month, and I didn't want to wait to finish the series. So, they are here. I did add one book that might be pushed until next month, but that's just because I was, I didn't want to put, I, I was, I didn't want to push it back anymore, but it might get pushed back again, but I'm hoping to finish it. But yeah, so the three books that I'm going to be crossing over to this month because I didn't finish the series last month is Last Day Books and Secrets of the Immortal and Nicholas Fumel, which are The Necromancer, The Warlock, and The Enchantress. And, um... The first two books fly through pretty fast. Um, I would have got through these if I did not get sick at the end of last month, but I'm hoping to um, uh, get to these books, and I'm hoping to get them done pretty fast. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, my bed's a mess now because I have books everywhere. Because I was doing my wrap up and my TBR. Okay. So, I also put this book, I bought it, I think, at the beginning of next, last month, I almost said next month, wow. Um, and, uh, it's a book I've been anticipating for since it came out in January, but I didn't have the money for it, and then I was finally able to buy it, um, but my TBR was full, and I did want this to be a Pride film month, and I don't think there's any Pride characters that I know of, at least, I mean, but, um, I just, I, I'm so excited to finally read this that I don't want to push it back anymore. So I'm going to be reading it if I can. Uh, it might end up getting pushed back if I can't get to it, but I don't want it to be. So we'll see. We shall see. Um, and then I have, uh, okay, I don't have this book with me because I'm going to have to rent it from the library at some point this month. I am, um, a buddy reading. A book with Robin from uh, the book Wormhole. You guys should go subscribe to her. Um, and uh, we will be buddy reading uh, When We Were Witches. I'm not entirely sure what the author name is. I forgot. I, uh, I'll need to look it up. But um, it's a queer book. And I'm, um, I'm not entirely sure what it's about. And I don't usually go into a book without knowing exactly what it's about. I did read the summary once when Robin and I were talking about buddy reading it, but I don't remember what the summary says. So I'm gonna have to go on good reason look at that again. Um, all I know is that's supposed to be queer, and I'm pretty sure it's written by a queer author as well. So that's fun. Um, and then uh, I'm also gonna. Here is The Deathly Hallows, because I've been buddy reading this, so I'm going to be, uh, buddy reading this, uh, the last book, so that's fun. Um, this book's gonna make me cry, because it always does, but that'll be fun too. <laughs> um, I mean, Dumbledore's technically gay, so there is a gay character in this universe, um, by the same time. This is also the only book he's not in, so there's that, because he's dead, but, oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't want to push this back, one, because I'm better reading it, two, because it's Harry Potter and I don't want to push anything Harry Potter related back, uh, and I'm just so excited to read this, this last book, it's been too long, and I'm going to be reading it soon, sometime this month, I'm not entirely sure when this month, I mean, it might be later in the month, it, it just, it depends on when I want to read all these, like, I haven't really come up with a schedule about what books I'm going to be reading first. Um, I wanted to get When We Were Witches first, but that means I have to go to the library, and I don't know when I'm going to be moved to do that, but I will this month. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited for this book, as I always am. Then there's Books, Focus, and the all-new sequel. Yay. This is a reread, um, because I don't have that many fantasy queer books, sadly. I really need to try to find more. I do have some, obviously. I mean, um, there's a few, the ones that I'm mentioning in here, but I think there's only one series I have not read of mine that has queer characters. I might be wrong. There might be queer characters that I just don't know about it. Um, 
for that one series I won't be reading because it is the sequel series to Percy Jackson and I can't read it until I read Percy Jackson and I haven't yet so I can't read that yet so yeah but Poppy and Al oh my gosh okay Allison and oh. Allison and Max's daughter Poppy is a lesbian and she has a a crush on this girl is Isabella and um, they do end up together and they're really cute and I really like their relationship um, but yeah I am so not excited I might be the only Hocus Pocus fan that's not excited for the uh, movie just because I love the book so much and they're not going to be following the book and it makes me sad because I actually like the sequel book better than the movie. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. I mean, I don't know how many Hocus Pocus fans have actually read the book. Because this is actually um, Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel. So it starts out with the uh, movie. And it's pretty much exact, exactly like the movie. I think there's maybe one, maybe two scenes that wasn't in the movie. But over half of it is the sequel. Uh, 25 years later, and it has it has to do with Max and Alice's daughter, uh, Poppy, uh, her crush, Isabella, Poppy's best friend, Travis, and, um, then there's, um, my mind went blank, what's her name, Katie, who is, um, is, uh, I almost said Isabella, uh, Poppy's, uh, uh, friend of me, she's actually, uh, the daughter of, uh, in, in Hocus Pocus, those two guys that bully Max, the, uh, I think it's the blonde hair guy, um, his daughter, that's her, um, so, yeah, um, and why I like it is because the stakes are a lot higher than they were for their parents, I mean, with their parents, it's like, the st I mean, the stakes were pretty high, I mean, the witch could have still won, but these stakes were like 10 times higher. And that's one of the reasons why it's so good. Plus, you know, you can't do anything wrong with queer characters. So there's that too. Um, and I, I, I like the characters from Hocus Pocus, but I kind of like the characters of the sequel a little bit more. I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm trying not to say exactly why the stakes are high because they're kind of plot points. Um, but let's just say they're 10 times higher than they were for their parents. So that tells you a little something. So if you're a fan of Hocus Pocus, you should definitely check out the sequel and then you'll understand why I'm upset about this movie because the sequel should be the movie because it's so good and I'm so bad because Hocus Pocus is being stupid. <coughs> the directors are anyways. I threw my book. As you can tell, I'm passionate about this. <laughs> I also have on my list Rise of Kyoshi. I was actually going to save this book until I had the money to buy the se sequel, but like I said, I don't have that many queer books, or books with queer characters, sadly, that I know of. I mean, maybe there are queer characters in some of the books I haven't read, and I just don't know it. I mean, that's always a possibility, but like I said, the only books I know for sure that there are queer characters is the sequel series for Percy Jackson, but I can't read that yet, because I have to read Percy Jackson. And there's no way I can read Percy Jackson and that book this month. Um... I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to. Uh, that'll have to be, like, the only thing I read this month. And I'm also t uh, buddy reading Percy Jackson, so... And that'll just be too stressful trying to get it all done. So, no thank you. I'm good. But, um... I decided that I'm just going to rent the sequel to this at the library. Like, since I have to, I'm going to be um, getting When We Were Witches... Uh, as well, so I'll probably read this first, and then once I'm done with this, get when get go to the library, get both When We Were Witches and the sequel, and then read the sequel, and then When We Were Witches, so that I can um, make sure this is read, so that I, you know, get done with both of those before they're due and all that. Um, but and then once I do have money, I'll just uh, buy it. <laughs> but this is um. I, I don't really think I've talked about it that much on my channel, but I love um, Avatar Last Airbender. I mean, I've talked about it a lot on my other channels since it's a TV-related channel, but I love Avatar Last Airbender and the sequel series Legend of Korra. And um, one of his, one of Aang's pre, one of the previous avatars, not the one before Aang, but the one before Roku which is, Roku was before Aang, and the Kyoshi was before Roku. 
she was one of the past avatars. And you see her a few times to learn a little bit about her in Avatar because she, because Aang has talked to his past life several times. So, but, um, one thing we do know about her is that she's a lesbian and she had a girlfriend at one point. And uh, she ended up getting murdered, I think. Avatar and Legend of Korra can be pretty dark. I was, I'm pretty sure that I talked about it in a recent video on my other channel about how dark Avatar and Korra got uh, for uh, kids, a Nickelodeon kids show, but, um, but yeah, so uh, I'm excited to read this, I've been wanting to read it for a while, and I'm very excited for it, um, Kyoshi's probably my, one of my favorite Avatars after both Aang and Korra, and I'm very excited to learn more about her and her life with her girlfriend, you know, before she got murdered. I don't know if we're going to see her murder on here. If if we do, it'll probably, I mean, probably it is supposed to be about Kyoshi. And one of the points of Kyoshi's life was losing her girlfriend. So, we'll probably get to see it in the sequel, but I don't know. I don't actually know that much about this, this series. I don't usually do that. Like, get a book, read a book without knowing what it's about because I don't like to go into it completely blind. I mean, I don't like to know spoilers, but I like to know what it's about at least. Um, but it's about Kyoshi and that made me want to read it. <laughs> I'll read any Avatar content. I even want to read the comics and I don't usually want to read the comics because I don't like comic books. But I want to read the comics for Avatar and Korra, especially Korra because I want to see more of Korra and Asami's relationship. Um, because we don't really get to see them as a couple. Because it didn't happen until the very end of the show. Um, and you get to see them as a couple in the comics. The only thing I'm not excited for in the Avatar comics is seeing Aang and Katara as a couple. Because ew, 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 they make me cringe. I hate them as a couple. And just, no. No, they should not have been a couple. Katara should have ended up with Zuko. Don't get me wrong, I love good friends to lovers. But in this case, it did not work. In this case, no. In this case, it should have been enemies to friends to lovers, being Katara and Zuko, because that's exactly what they should have been. But no. Ew, just... Every time... I mean, they only have a few kiss scenes throughout the show, but every time they do, just no. I mean, there's no 14-year-old girl that's going to have a crush on a 12-year-old boy. And the fact that Katara... Aang tried to force himself on Katara a few times, and Katara always saw him as a little brother until like the last five minutes and I read something saying that the only reason why they had them end up together was because they thought Aang should get the girl, the hero should get the girl. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so misogynistic. Just no, that's so sexist. No one gets the girl. Katara gets the girl and she sh Katara is the girl and she should choose because nobody gets her. And she's a, pretty she's a pretty feminist character as well. I'm going to stop with this right now because that's not the point of this video, but I just got into a little rant there. I threw another book. I thought it books today. <laughs> okay. Um, then I'm also going to read Six of Crows and Curse of Kingdom, this duology. Um, I'm very excited to reread this duology. I only read it once, but I fell in love with it, and now I'm obsessed with this duology. I read it for the first time, I think, in October. I think it was October. It was in the last month. For last month. Why did I keep saying last month? Okay, last year. Uh, I think it might have been later in the year, though, like November or December. I don't know. It was in the last few months of last year. Um, but I fell in love with this series. Actually, no, it would end up in October because that's when I read the last um, Child and Bone book. So it would have been in November. Okay. Um, but I fell in love. <gasps> I fell in love with this series, this duology. I like, like the entire Grisha verse. I do. But this duology is superior. The crows are superior. I fell in love with it. So I'm so excited to read it. Plus there are queer characters. There are, uh, there's, um, Jesper and, uh, Wylan. Jesper's bisexual and Wylan is, uh, gay. Um, I mean, I think he's gay. I mean, he's obviously into boys, but I don't think he ever showed any interest in girls at all. Like, but Jesper made a comment about girls before, so that's how you know he's bisexual. Um, but yeah. Um, and then Nina, I'm pretty sure, is bisexual. I don't think they outright say it, but I'm pretty sure she's mentioned flirting with both girls and guys. I might be wrong on there, but that, but, um, and plus, I'm pretty sure she, it, I, I'm currently reading the King of Scars duology. I finished King of Scars, and I'm on Wool Wolves, and 
I don't know. It kind of looks like there are sparks flying between her and this one girl. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure she's bisexual. Um, but the other book I'm going to be reading is Wolf Wolf because I I'm finally going to finish the, the Creature Forest completely, and I'm excited about it. And I'm excited. I did read the first chapter. I think it was just the first chapter, maybe the first two. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, the first two chapters. Um. But uh. It got pushed back again, but it's not going to get pushed back this month. This is one of the main books I want to read this month. Finally finished the Grishaverse. I finally know what happens at the end. And, um, I'm excited about it. And like I said, uh, Nina is bisexual and she's also in this book. Plus you get to see Tamar and Nadia as a couple a little bit more. Not that often still, because they're still not the main characters or anything. But Tamar and Nadia were in the, um, uh, in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And uh, they are lesbians, and they are in a uh, relationship. They got together in Shadow and Bone. You guys get to see them a little bit more um, in uh, King of Scars. And um, so, yeah. And then, if 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 I'm right about my theory about Nina and this girl she's been hanging out with, Hain, um, then she's either bisexual or lesbian. Because um, I'm kind of having the feeling they're going to end up together. Which... I mean, I want Nina to be happy, and I kind of shipped them, but at the same time, I really shipped her with the Tyus. I mean, they weren't my favorite couple. They were my third and six of crows, but, um, I still really like them. So, um, but at the same time, I'm really liking her with Hain, so we're gonna see how that turns out. Um, I think that was the last book. Yeah, that's the last book that I plan on reading this month. So that is my June TBR, and um, uh, that is all. Please like and subscribe and comment what you plan on reading this month, and we just we will talk about it below in the comments. Until next time.